Rachel Tribble. I'm an oil painter and a watercolorist. So what's my process? I paint what I see in my dreams. The places that I create when I'm painting come from something that I feel is really ancient in every human being, and it's a connection to the stars, a connection to our earth, connection to water, connection to trees, a connection to those places that are so deeply rooted in our souls that we don't even know they're there until something sparks that life inside of us, something sparks that connection and our hearts are opened and we're reminded. I want to always feel that, that thing that I feel when I'm sitting in the forest all alone or when it's really quiet at four o'clock in the morning and the sun is getting ready to come up and the earth is still asleep. And so that's what I paint, uh, those places that I see those places that I know. So lately I'm working birds into my paintings and I, it sometimes takes me a long time to figure out exactly what these trees or birds or water is trying to say. It's more like my job to just start to draw, start to paint, and then it will reveal itself. The trees to me are ancient friends that are here watching over us, protecting us. And when I was little, I used to really feel that the bark of oak trees especially were glyph languages, like these ancient tree languages that were just glyphs. And if you looked really closely at the bark, you could see the language and the shape of the letters, um, which aren't really letters, right? They're more like hieroglyphics or some other kind of glyph. And that was what was speaking to me was the fact that these ancient beings were here on earth and they were here as my friends. Um, and so it is that love for oak trees, um, willows, like weeping willows, and banyan trees, because um, now I live down in Florida and I have banyan trees uh, where I live, and they are amazing um, beings that are here. Um, so that's what the trees are to me and always speaking about life and water and their roots in the earth and what is that tree of life.